we've been chatting in the group thread a lot about conversations and what to say. And uh, I think I think we could do some mock prospecting, you know, calls on this call. And I can record it. We can have it. We can save it. And we can use it. Mm -hmm. And so that's my plan for tonight. But first of all, I wanted to say that this Dash Diamond group has been awesome for me because I feel like I really got away from the basics. I really got away from. Uh, hold on, everybody. I really just got away from inviting every day. I think I was overthinking things and not not wanting to do it the wrong way or whatever because I had you know I've like messed up so many times or whatever so and I've pushed this business on people and I got really you know discouraged and kind of like insecure about how I invite and I wasn't I was making it about me and not about them you know and so I kind of wasn't in, is inviting as much and I was trying to just like do attraction marketing on my page and just like hope that people came to me and it wasn't working so I know that's why my numbers have been lower and just enrolling less people. And this, this dash that I'm in, like the little thread that we have going kind of brought me back to, it doesn't matter whether somebody says yes or no. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not inviting out of fear anymore. I'm just inviting out of, you know, the love in my heart to help people. And when we stop inviting, I think we do become fearful because we're like, Oh no, we really need this person. We really need, you get that scarcity mentality and you become fearful and you can switch in and out of these in a, in a heartbeat, you know, in a matter of a couple of weeks, in a matter of seven days, it's, it's not like if you get out of it and you start inviting again, then you're like, Oh, I'm good. Like I'm good. I'm never going to have to go through that experience again. We can flip right back into that experience and we can flip right out of that experience. So if we continuously are inviting, then we don't have to feel that scarcity and that fear mentality. But the minute we stop inviting, then that fear creeps in and that scarcity creeps in. And then it's all about the me show because I need these people versus the them show. And uh, so what I've liked about this thread is just getting back to inviting and not being, you know, scared about it and not worrying about whether they say yes or no. And you know, just having conversations with people and getting them on the phone and, and, and truly not even pushing the process when they're on the phone with me. Like I, I, I had three calls today and it was like, one was for a, a coach, you know, and one was for a challenge group. Well, actually one, she didn't, we didn't end up, we weren't able to connect. Did I only have two calls today? I only ended up having two calls today because the other one we were supposed to connect and, oh, I have one after this call. I was supposed to have four calls today, but one of them, somehow we got messed up. And one of them was about coaching and the other one was about a challenge group. And at the end of the coaching one, I was like, you know, it doesn't, she, she wasn't ready. And I'm not going to sit there and be like, Oh, you need to like do this right now and like push her. I was just like, well, if you want to come on next week's, you know, live behind the scenes, you can gather some more information. And I'm like, and I encourage you to research, you know, research online, just do some of your own research and see if this is for you. Because she was like, Oh, can you send me some information? I'm like, well, I pretty much just gave you all the information that I have, you know, like the next step is like, you know, the training that I would give you. So if you want to research it. So anyway, not rushing the process and really making it about other people. It took me 10 months to say yes. So why am I going to think that someone is going to get on the phone with me? They don't know me at all. They've never tried the program and they're going to just be like, yes, I'm going to do this. You know, I mean, it's not realistic. I, I know Brittany Leggett, I think took like a year to say yes or something. And I remember like her posting something on Lindsay Matway's page and you know, Lindsay was like, it's, you know, it's worth the wait. So you just have to keep showing up in people's lives and you know, People aren't always going to be ready the first time. It might be 10 times. It might be 20 times. It might be a year. It might be five years before they say yes. So does anybody have anything to share or piggyback off of that? If not, then we'll start the mock prospecting calls. Okay, who wants to be the guinea pig? Who wants to be the, the person that we're calling? Like I, I'll, I'm going to be like calling you and I'm going to pretend like I am prospecting you for a challenge group. I'll go. All right. Who's, who's I? Me, Jess. Okay, Jessica. Cool. <laughs> 
All right. So I know I put some, um, some voice messages in that thread, but I was thinking Kristen was going to do it for some reason. I'm like, Kristen's going to be the girl that's going to do it. <laughs> I could, but then my mom, my mom is here and she keeps peeking in and out. So I have to keep going in and out. So. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. So let's just say that, you know, I've gotten a little bit about your goals, but not too much. And then I just, you were interested in a challenge group and I was like, Hey, if, you know, if I set up a time to chat with you on the phone, would you be willing to hop on the phone with me? And you said, yes. So we set up a day and time and now I'm calling you up. It's the time that I'm calling you up. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Good. It's Marissa. Good. How's it going? <laughs> are, you, are you still good to talk? Are you still yeah. good to talk for now? Okay, cool. I, I can talk for like three minutes. You know, my kids might be running in and out. My husband might be, you know. Three minutes? <laughs> and my dog might start barking, but I can talk. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. How was your day? It was exhausting. Um, I worked all day. I'm a CRNA. I worked full time and then I had to come home and deal with homework and, and dinner and doing the dishes and the laundry. <laughs> so you do it all yourself? No help? Uh, no, I have, I do have help. I do have a nanny, um, but she's of minimal help. And then my husband does come help um, with the dishes. Oh, good. How many days a week do you have your nanny? Um, every day that I work. So it's either four or five. Oh, wow. How old are your kids? Um, 10 and six. Nice. Does your nanny clean? No. <laughs> she but, just takes care of the kids. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> but I have. <laughs> maybe you need to get a cleaning lady. Well, I do have a cleaning lady, and luckily she came today, so that was, that was nice. <laughs> My cleaning lady came today, too. You got to <laughs> love it when your cleaning lady comes. Yep. <laughs> I swear, that's the best $75 I ever spend, my cleaning lady. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I would do without her. Um, so I've been talking to another girl about that today. She was, uh, she was saying that she was trying to rush home to get, get her house clean before her husband got home. And I was like, why don't you just hire, hire a cleaning lady? And she's like, actually, I've been thinking about looking into it. I was like, yeah, it's money well spent. Oh, it saved my marriage. I was a real nasty stress ball when, it, uh, yeah. So anyways, <laughs> okay. and how many hours a week are you in anesthesia? Um, I do, um, 36. Um, so it's in, in two weeks, it's 72. So one, one week it's 36 and then the other week it's 40. So you do three twelves? No, I do, um, four eights or five eights. Oh, wow. So I have every other Friday off. Okay. I have a CRNA too, but I only cool. work one week. You what? You only work one day a week? I only work one day a week. Yeah. As a CRNA. Huh. I do this full time. What do you do? Beach body coaching. And what's that? You know, I host these online accountability groups, the one that we were planning on talking about tonight. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So, um, yeah, I definitely could use some accountability. Um, well, what are your goals right now? Um, for me, I would just like to work out, um, in between my busy schedule and everything, I just can't find the time to go to the gym. Um, I feel like I want to gain some muscle, um, some core strength, um, cause I'm a nurse. And so lifting heavy patients back and forth and pushing stretchers and, um, standing all day is exhausting on the back. Okay. So you want to, you want like short workouts that you can do with a limited amount of time and do some core strengthening and, and toning. Yes. Okay. Cool. And what types of things have worked for you in the past um, to get in shape, to do those things, or have you not been able to? I haven't really been able to consistently do anything. Like I was doing Jillian Michaels ripped in 30 and I, it, you're supposed to do it for 30 days and I probably would only get to like week three and then I would quit and then I would do it again like three months later and I just keep starting over, starting over, starting over. And so it's kind of annoying. What do you think it is? What do you think is the reason that you uh, keep? Um... I don't know. To be honest with you, I think by week three, I'm like, okay, I've had enough of getting up this early. Um, and I guess I'm doing it by myself at home and I don't really see the results quick enough. So I think my, my body and my mind just kind of say enough. You're not really getting anywhere. 
Well, what, how are you measuring your results? I don't know. Just by how I look. <laughs> oh, okay. Because you said it's <laughs> quick enough, so you quit. So, so just looking at yourself in the mirror and not liking it. Yeah. Okay. So really you're struggling with, you know, you're trying to do this on your own and you're needing, you're needing more of like a community of support and uh, accountability. I think so. I think if I had to answer to someone, um, I mean, that's kind of how anesthesia is. You got to answer to someone. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, no, I think if I had to um, check in with somebody, I think I could probably um, at least hang in there for that fourth week. Okay. All right. So how much do you know about what I actually do? I know you've been kind of following me on social media, but yeah. you to you post a ton of um, workouts that look insanely um, pretty, pretty intense. <laughs> um, and I've seen your food recipes. They all look pretty good. Um, and I see that you've just bought a house, which is awesome. Congratulations. Thanks. Um, and I see that you got those animals. Animals. Yeah. Um, and from what I guess, from what I gather, you're able to replace your anesthesia um, salary. Um, how do you pay for insurance? How do you pay for health insurance? Oh, I just pay for it out of pocket. Okay. Yeah, it's no big deal. All right. Um, everybody else, same thing as everybody else. Um, okay. So, okay. So you really don't know that much about what I do. You kind of just have seen the videos and some recipes and things like that. So basically what I do is I host four week online accountability groups. So I create a community of support that is conducive to you reaching your goals. And that's my job. And your job is to make sure that you engage in that community every day in order to get the results because the programs work if you work them. So basically the way the program works is uh, there is an all access package that you can get everything that you need to reach your goals. And you get a year long subscription to Beachbody On Demand, which you'll have access to every single Beachbody program ever created. So that is the reason that we do that is because we're looking for more of a long term, you know, lifestyle change versus just a quick fix. So before we used to just do like just the 21 day fix and then it was 21 days and you don't have a plan for what you're going to do after that. So having access to all those programs that are between 20, 30, 60 and 90 days, you can set your next step after you finish, maybe you're going to do 21 day fix first and you do 21 days and then you can, you know, schedule yourself to do T25, which is a 60 day program or whatever. So you, you have access to every single program and you can set up your whole year. And then in addition to that, you're going to get the 21 day fix portion control containers, which are color coded. Have you, have you seen those? Um, yeah, I've seen them on like, um, you know, Pinterest and I've seen them sort of on Instagram and Facebook and people will sort of post meals that they've made based on the cups and, and whatnot. Okay. Um, but yeah. so do you, you kind of know a little bit about them, but not really how they work. You've not seen? quite. Okay. So basically how they work is they're color coded containers and they teach you how to portion control your meals. So you don't have to count calories. It's very simplified. You just, all you do is figure out how many calories you're supposed to be consuming based on a formula. And once you know the calories and it tells you how many containers you get of each color and each color is color coded for a specific food group. So green is for vegetables, red is for protein, yellow is for carbs and whatever fits in that container, you eat it and you get to eat multiple containers a day. So it kind of, it really takes the it takes the guesswork out of nutrition and it really simplifies it for you because you don't have to like use my challenge you know that you don't have to use like my fitness pal and track calories or anything it's just portion control very simple um, and then in addition you'll get the recipe booklet and the, the, the meal plan so it'll explain to you how to you know use those containers and with the Beachbody on demand you'll also have access to the fixate cooking channel where Autumn the person who created 21 day fix has uh, videos on there where she teaches you how to use the containers like containers 101 and she has a bunch of different recipes you can go on there and you can get 21 day fix approved recipes and you'll have access to all that with Beachbody on demand and then in addition, you'll get a month's supply of Shakeology. Have you heard of Shakeology? Um, I've heard a little bit about it. I've seen people post some things, um, but I don't know 
I don't know. Isn't that like a weight loss shake or something? Well, have you ever tried it? No. No. Okay. Nope. Well, it's not. It's not a weight loss shake. I know some people think that, but it's not. It's it's a superfood shake that's made with seventy whole food ingredients. So it's got apples, pomegranate, sasha inchi, maca root, chia seeds, a lot of things that you put in your shake anyway. And what it does is it fuels your body with the proper nutrients. For me, what it does for me is with that fuel, it gives me energy, it helps me feel fuller longer, reduces my cravings for junk food. And so it's not that you're dramatically reducing your calories. It's not that you're starving yourself or taking away calories in order to lose weight, because then you know, as soon as you start eating more again, then you'll gain it back. It's, it's a superfood nutrition that supplements your nutrition. So you, you're fueling your body properly. So you get a 30 day supply of that and you do one shake a day. Personally, me, I, I, if I'm getting, leaving the house early for work on my CRNA shift, I'll make it before I go and have it for breakfast. Sometimes I'll have it after my workout or I'll have it for dinner. It just really depends on the day. Um, so then with all of that, you'll have access to my four week online accountability group. And that's where the magic really happens. I make three posts a day. Um, in the morning, I'll post a, a photo contest post where you post like a sweaty selfie after you work out. And then second post in the morning is a, is a personal development post where I help you to focus on getting positive mindset and thinking more beyond just the physical because results are more than just physical. They're emotional, mental, spiritual, all of that. And, um, and then in the, at the end of the day, in the evening, I'll post check-in posts to have you comment with what you did that day. The person who comments on that check-in post and does the most and engages the most in the group actually earns a prize at the end. And the reason I do the prize is really just so I can, so, so you have, you know, some motivation to use the, the products and the programs because I don't just want to sell you something. I actually want to help you get results. So um, that's pretty much how the accountability group works. And then once you've done the four weeks and you've graduated from that group, I'll add you to my bigger group with all the people that have already graduated from that four week group. And you can continue on in that group for the rest of the year. And, you know, you'll be able to utilize your Beach Bunny on demand subscription. So what did you like the most about what you heard? Um... I think it's really cool that you can get the uh, all access. You can all get all the videos, um, all the uh, workouts, so you don't have to um, really be limited to just one workout. It's cool. You can check out a bunch of them uh, yeah. before, without having to commit to anything. Because uh, maybe that might be why I didn't like the Jillian Michaels. Was I just had that one set and I just got bored with it. Um, okay. and the time I did it more and more, I was like, that got really boring. So um and do they come out with new programs they come out with new programs all the time and uh that's cool all right yeah so you'll have access to the new programs too with that you know all access pack package you'll have access to the new programs that come out and you'll never get bored because you always have a new program to do <laughs> all right so what, do you, what are your thoughts about that uh how much does it cost for, so for everything that I explained to you, it's one ninety nine. One ninety nine, one time. Yeah. That's for the one year subscription to Beach Bounty on Demand, the portion control containers, the recipe booklet, and the um, meal plan. Uh, you know, and then a month supply of Shakeology, thirty days, and also my coaching for a year. Uh, what if I don't want to do the shake? Well, if you don't, <laughs> then that's that's totally up to you. It's highly recommended, but it's not required. So um, if I mean. I personally use it every day, but if you want to just stick with just the, the workouts, then you, I mean, if you want to get the fixate uh, portion control containers and the, I'm sorry, the fixed portion control containers and the workouts, then you'd have to, it would be $99 for the year long subscription. And then if you were going to buy the portion controller sep separately, then it would be 20 bucks for those. So it'd be 120 and you wouldn't have the Shakeology versus okay. 99 with the Shakeology. All right. Okay. Um, can I try the Shakeology before I do any of this? They do have, yeah, we have an option for you to try it. We have a seven day sampler pack. I think it's $34.95 and you can try every different flavor of Shakeology before you order. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can I still join your group? Um, yeah, of course. I mean, you don't have to do the whole package. Like I said, I think it's the best value. 
and for, you know, for your money. And I think that it's going to be what's going to get you the best results. But if you don't feel that you want to do that and you just want to do the membership, that's totally fine. You know, I'll definitely still let you in the group and we'll help you get results. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah. My friend who, um, did one of your challenge groups, she had really great results and she really likes it. So, um, okay. Um, let me think about it. Okay. And I'll get back to you. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> we just pretended everything. We're just pretending. <laughs> okay. So, so now pretend like you were good with the 199. Like you were like, wow, that's really cheap. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up. Okay. So, so all I need from you is I'll need your email address, your phone number, and I'm going to send you a link that's already going to be pre-filled out for you with your, you know, your challenge pack and to your email. All you have to do is click that link and finish your enrollment. So, um, which, and also we, I just need to know which Shakeology flavor you like. We have combo packs. We have like chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, chocolate, vanilla, and cafe latte, or you could get like chocolate and vanilla only, or you can get vegan tropical and chocolate. Usually I say if you're, if you're first time trying it, you might want to try doing the combo pack so you can try more than one flavor and then you can decide which one you like. And then the next month you can just change it to that one flavor. Um, I am um, non-dairy. So what is the vegan fl flavors? Vegan tropical and vegan chocolate. All right. I'll do the chocolate. The chocolate? Just the one chocolate? Sure. All right, cool. So I'll send you out that link. I'm going to send you out that link as soon as we get off the phone. And when do you think that you'll be able to complete your enrollment? Uh, does that mean like pay for it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I get paid on Friday, so I'll do it then. So Thursday night, I could probably do it. Okay, cool. So I'm going to check on Friday morning and make sure that everything went through okay with your order. And if not, then I'll just touch base with you to see what's up and if there's anything I can do to support you. Okay. All right. Awesome. Cool. Can't wait to start. All right. I'm excited for you to join the group. <laughs> <laughs> Have an awesome night. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, does anybody have questions or comments? Yeah. For me, when she said like, um, I'll think about it. Um, I just thought like for others, you know, it's good to add in that schedule a follow up. Like, awesome. You know, when's a good day to check back in with you? Like, that's what I always do. If someone's like, oh, yeah, let me check with my husband or like kind of gives me like a wishy washy answer. I tend to, you know, take control. I'm like, okay, awesome. So when's a good time to check in? You know, um, if I message you next Wednesday, is that a good time just to kind of check back in and see where you're at? And I just choose to take control of it and schedule a follow up so they know I'm following up with them. I do that too. I just didn't do it, <laughs> but I do do that. And I put them in my, <laughs> now that I have teensy, <laughs> I put them in there to follow up with them. Anybody else have questions or comments? That's what I was saying, Steph. If you want to do like, I would love to hear what you do you know, in your conversations, because I'm sure it's a little bit different. If you want to be the, like, the coach and sure. have a prospect. It's weird, like, looking at people. Um, yeah. Who wants to be my customer? <laughs> oh, God, Kristen. <laughs> Dude, I've already had this talk with you, like, three times. I feel like it's yeah, better. So if, I feel like it's no, better. It's back your hand. I feel like if it's better if it's someone you kind of don't know that well, like, I don't know, because it makes it a little more like you're actually having to dig to get to know that well, person. Because I just had an objection today. That's why I raised my hand. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, getting a little nervous. All right. Um, so the way that I usually set it up is like we five stepped a little bit. I can usually tell like, okay, I shared about my private group. So you understand that like these are programs that range from 20 to 30 to 60 minutes. Um, in my private groups, we're sharing every day, um, talking about nutrition. 
all that good stuff. And at the end, I'm, it's always saying like, you know, is this something that you feel would be helpful to you? And so you said, yes. And so I said, okay, awesome. Well then the next step is to set up a phone conversation so that I can learn more about you. Um, and kind of share in detail about a program that I feel would be a good fit for you. Are you open to setting up a call? And she said, yes. And so this is our call. Um, I'm going to move because John just got home. All right. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, is this Kristen? Yeah. Hey, Kristen, it's Stephanie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Is now still a good time to talk? Uh, yeah, it's good. Okay, awesome. Well, first of all, thank you so much for giving me your number. I really appreciate it. It's just a lot easier to talk on the phone than it is to message back and forth per day. So I really appreciate that. Um, and also, if you don't mind, how I like to start off is, you know, you get to see bits and pieces of my life on Facebook and, you know, just what's going on with me. Um, so if you don't mind, I'd actually like to start off just hearing about you. Um, you know, are you a mom? Do you work full time? Do you have kids? Um, you know, kind of what's going on in your life and how are you trying to fit this all in? Um, I'm a single mom. I have three um, I have three girls. Um, hold on, um, just hold on just a second. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just really busy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, do you need to reschedule? No, no, I'm, I'm totally okay. I'm just at the store right now. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, so you mentioned you have three kids. How old are they? Um, two and eight. And your third one? Oh, and seven. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I forgot about that one. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Those are good ages. Those are um, similar to the ages of mine. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, you mentioned that you work two jobs. What is it that you do? Um, well, I work at a restaurant uh, during the day and then at night I serve. I'm a server slash bartender. Okay. Awesome. And so, you know, we kind of talked a little bit on Facebook, you know, about your struggles with kind of finding time and fitting it in. You know, have you ever done anything in the past that has worked for you? I have. I've been um, watching some of your videos and I've been doing that. Um, I've been watching some YouTube videos as well, trying to just kind of get started. I'm really trying to focus in on my stomach. I feel like everything I try, nothing really works. Okay. And how is your nutrition? It's awful. Um, I'm addicted to food. I love food. I love to eat. Um, yeah, I just really like to eat. Okay. Um, so what are the types of foods that you find yourself gravitating towards? Like, you know, is it processed? Are you eating some healthy stuff? Like, Honestly, I feel like I just eat anything. I mean, I could totally buy a bag of chips and just eat the whole thing without even thinking twice. And then the next time I turn around, it's gone. So if it tastes good, I'm eating it. Okay. All right. Um, and do you feel that you are at a place right now where you would be willing to make changes with that and actually like, you know, take the time to focus and buy the things that you need to get to the goals that you want and work on your stomach? Yeah. I mean, if the food tastes good, but if it doesn't taste good, I don't really think I'm going to be able to commit to it. Okay. Do you like fresh food? Like, do you like fruits, vegetables? Um, yeah, if it tastes good. I mean, does it have seasoning? Like, what kind of stuff do you eat? What kind of stuff do you, are well, you talking about? I'm actually not a cook myself, so I actually keep it pretty simple. But the plan that I help people follow, it's actually the 21-day fix. Have you ever heard of it? I have. Yeah, I'm familiar. Okay. Is that what you do? Um, yes, that is a plan that I help people to follow, and that's the plan that I use myself. So what all do you know about it? Um, just like the little containers and things that you use, I'm really not trying to go on a diet. Um, you know, that's something I've tried a lot of stuff in the past and, you know, any restrictions and things like that is just not really for me. So. Okay. Yeah. I actually agree with that. Um, if I had to restrict myself from something, it wouldn't work for me either. So what types of things did you try in the past and like what was being restricted? Um, I've tried a couple of things. I've tried some shakes. Um, I have tried Herbalife, but I feel like every time um, I'm doing this, I'm just always hungry. Like I feel like no matter what I try, I'm either restricted and I'm always hungry or drink this shake, drink this, take this, you know, and, and I, I just like to eat. So 
but I've never taken any pills or anything like that. Okay, perfect. Well, the thing about 20- Well, hold on, you know, I mean, my doctor's telling me that they want me to take Adipex, is that right? Um, an appetite suppressant to kind of jumpstart stuff, but I'm not really feeling that. Okay, good. I'm glad you're not feeling that because I personally don't believe in popping pills to get to your goals. Um, so I think if you're open to trying a healthy meal plan, I think that's a good start. Um, okay. Okay. So more about, you know, these tiny little containers. Hold on. Just wait. I'm going to look out with you. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so this is actually the reason I quit personal training. Um, you know, like you said, you hate when you have to be restrictive or take things out of your diet or things like that. I totally agree. Um, so what this plan is for is to teach you how to eat all of the different parts of, you know, the meal plan, like not take something out because, you know, a lot of people take out carbs. Like, why would you take out carbs? That's your energy source. Um, or take out fat, like that tastes good. So why, why are you depleting that from your your daily, you know, to do's too. Um, so it's literally teaching you how to eat all of the different food groups, but the right amounts for your goals. You know, it's not just about learning how to eat healthy because you can actually gain weight eating healthy. So Perfect. it's about learning, you know, how many carbs, how many proteins, how many vegetables, how many fruits, and what does that even look like? So, okay. you know, does that sound like something that you'd be interested in? Oh yeah, absolutely. I could do that. Okay. And now what then, happens, I mean, do you feel like, do you eat this? Like, do you literally eat out of containers? Because I, I don't know about that. But I mean, I feel like I could stick with something as long as it's good. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, you do not have to eat out of these containers. Like, you're not tied down to the containers. It's more of like your learning tool. You know, like you mentioned, you have kids and your kids go to school. And it's like to learn, you know, math they have to have a book or they have to have a teacher explaining it to them. So this is your learning tool. It is teaching you how to know what a proper portion is and you can fill it, dump it on your plate. And it's like, okay, I get, you know, how much of my plate I can fill and that's a portion or I get what size apple I can have and that fills my cup. Okay. So it's really meant to teach you this lifestyle and to not be a quick fix, but it's your learning tool. And once you've learned it, you don't need this anymore but okay. you'll have it to kind of revert back to if you need to. All right. Does that sound yeah, like I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, um, you know, the second part of what we do is, you know, obviously the workouts, you can't just do one and not the other. So you mentioned that, you know, you've done stuff off YouTube. You tried some of my um, videos as well. Have you seen changes from just doing those few things? I, yeah, I mean, upper body, I have weights and stuff at home, um, but I just feel when I try to plank and do other non-traditional, you know, exercises for my abs, like I'm just not as strong, but my, I feel like in general I am, but I kind of struggle with planks and things like that. But I mean, I have weights. Okay. And, you know, you're busy, obviously working two jobs. So how much time would you like to give to a workout? Cause I mean, I have things that range from, you know, 10 minutes to 20 to 30. Yeah. So how much time would you like and are willing to give to a workout? I mean, I think anything like at least 45 minutes, um, 30 to 45 minutes I could do. Oh, okay, great. And then, you know, you've mentioned your abs. Um, is there any other specific part that you really want to kind of zero in on? I mean, all of our workouts are going to do the same thing. They're going to get you to a healthier you. But depending on your specifics, I'm going to recommend one over the other. Okay. No, I mean, just my, my abs primarily. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing total body. I'm in your free group right now, and I like the, the workouts that you have right now. Um, so anything like that, like total body, I, I, I really like that. And really kind of focus on my core too. Okay. Um, that brings up a couple different programs. So I'm going to share just a couple different programs and you kind of let me know which one you're leaning more towards. So core to force is the program that anytime somebody mentions they want to work on their midsection, I'm going to share this program. It is awesome. It's the one that I got the best results from with abdominal work. Um, it's great because it's not just working on your abs, but it's working on your obliques, your back. I mean, it's total. You're pretty much working your abs the entire workout. But on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're getting in a lot of um, push-ups and you're getting in a lot of strength training and it's really good and it requires zero equipment. That ranges from 27 to 47 minutes. Um, another program that I think would be a good contender for you is the 21 Day Fix. Um, it does go with the portion control system. It was the original program, but um, I mean, honestly, the portion control goes with all of our programs. It okay. is 
it's 30 minutes. It's upper body, okay. lower body, Pilates, yoga, it gives you a little bit of everything, uses two sets of weights. Um, so a little different feel, you know, do you have a preference of one over the other that you'd like to hear more about? Um, no, I'm kind of familiar with the 21 day fix. Um, you know, so I think that that's probably what I want to go with. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Did you have two different sets of weights? Yeah, I have, I have multiple. I'm good. Okay. Awesome. All right. Um, next is Shakeology. That's the kind of third piece of what it is that I do. Have you ever heard of that before? I have a little bit, yeah, but I'm not fully. Okay. So what all do you know about it? It's a shake. Okay. You drink. All right. That is a great story. How many, how many times a day are you supposed to drink it? I'm not kidding. Like this was a conversation I had today. Okay. So yes, it is a shake. Um, the great thing about it is, you know, a lot of people are out there drinking protein shakes and most of them don't know why. Um, well, my thing is though, is like, there's so much stuff over the counter. And when I was trying shakes before it was like, I was always hungry. So like, that's why I'm so hesitant to try another shake. So I don't like, what's the point? Okay. No, I understand that. Um, our shake is honestly not like other shakes. So it has like dense nutrition. It's considered a meal replacement, but you don't have to have it as one, but it's considered that because it's literally giving you 50 to hundred percent of all of your body's daily requirements. So when you feed your body what it needs, it's not craving what it doesn't. Um, okay. honestly, a lot of people, you know, in my challenge group, the first thing they say is that it really helped curb cravings, not because of something that's put in it, but because of the dense nutrition. So, okay. you know, kind of like, you know, can you think back to a time where you had a really well-balanced meal? Like you kind of hit all the different food groups, you know, were you yeah. hungry right after that? Gotcha. You know, it, it's kind of like that. Um, so it's great because it really complements this lifestyle. You know, it's not just doing one thing. It's not just working out. It's not just eating healthy. It's not just drinking a shake that's going to get you to your goals. It's all of it. And this um. system. Okay, cool. Well, why don't we, I have to go. So what do I need to do to get set up? I have to, I have to leave. Um, I, okay, awesome. I um, if this is something how do I get set up? Well, if you're interested, um, I just need to share with you, you know, how to enroll and the way that most people have enrolled is a 199 package. And with that, you would have all access to all of the workouts. So both workouts that I, you know, shared with you, um, access to anything that Beachbody has for one full year. You would have the portion container system that goes with all of our programs. And then you'd have Shakeology for 30 days. Um, so is that a way that you can get set up today? I could, but I think what I want to do is get started with just the one program and see how I like it and go from there. Okay. And were you interested in Shakeology as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so um, with that, if you want, um, were you interested in the DVDs or having online access? The DVDs, please. Yeah. So there is a um, package for 160. You'll get all of the DVDs. You'll get the portion control system. You'll get Shakeology for 30 days. You will actually get online access as well. So is that something that you feel more comfortable in, in starting with today? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and send you over a link. All you will have to do is pick out your Shakeology flavor. Um, our choices are cafe latte, blah, blah, blah. I would explain those. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So, all right. Okay. All right. Well, I'll send you my email. Great. Thanks so much. Thanks for your time. And I look forward to having Thanks. you with your family. Thanks. Bye. Bye. So um, she cut me off, but the only other thing that I typically do on all my conversations is share what we do in the private groups. Um, so that's the only piece that you guys missed hearing. Well, yeah, because she kind of like cut me off. So I kept interrupting you because I was in a hurry because she was like in a hurry. So I felt like the conversation was rushed when I had it today. And I said, you know, do you, do you want to do another time? No, 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 let's do it now. And so I felt like my conversation with her was almost rushed, but she was like, no, I'm ready. Yeah, 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 sign me up. And now, like, she hasn't sent me her email, but I'm like, I didn't, you know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? I don't ask for emails. I just send them the link. I, I use BB link, so I don't even ask for an email. I just send them a link. I don't, I don't use it because I primarily function off my computer. Yeah, okay. but she like really really rushed my conversation today and I even tried to reschedule it and she didn't so that kind of stunk but 
and she may not yeah. be ready at the time then. I mean, yeah, I mean, because I couldn't even, she's in my free group, so I couldn't even really dive into it, but she, I was like, God, I can talk later. <laughs> yeah. Well, does anybody All right. change Thanks. or things that they would do differently? Marissa, do you have anything to say? Or Kristen? I was, <clears throat> no, I was, I was going to say, that's another thing that I talk about that I didn't mention. I do, I do the same thing with the with the 21 day fixed containers. I also say like, you know, you use them, use them for like 21 days, get comfortable with them and then see what a proper portion size is for you. And then you can just eyeball it because it's not realistic to think that you're going to use the containers for the rest of your life. So that is another thing that I do, which I didn't mention. I thought of a couple things that I do, but I was kind of truncating my call because I usually, I usually talk to them for between 30 and 45 minutes, you know, and, and, you know, the majority of the first part of the call is getting to know them. And then the second part is explaining to them what the deal is. And then, oh, go on. and then I focus on what it is that they said that they liked the most about it. So like when she was like, oh yeah, I like that the workouts are, you know, it, that I'm not going to be bored and things like that. You know, then I can reiterate that. Or if they're like, I really like the accountability or I really like the nutrition, then I keep kind of, you know, reiterating the thing that they liked about it. Hey, I have a question. So because I primarily do all of my, my conversations um, via messenger and then bridge and get people on the phone unless they don't want to, I typically use a third party tool. Are you guys still using a third party tool or do you straight five step everybody over the phone? Because I just don't have the time. And, are, and if you do, are you still using a third party tool like to explain a challenge group and all that stuff? I do not. The only time I will is if someone's like, okay, well, I'm going to think about it. I'm like, okay, awesome. Is there any information that I can share with you that will help you? You know, I have short little videos explaining everything. Is there any piece that you would like me to send you like about the workout or about Shakeology? That's the only time I've used it personally. If we're kind of um, I, sorry, I'm getting my pasta ready. I do usually, I've usually, I've usually sent them step three before I get on the phone with them, which is a video. Because I think that's what we have um, that I will typically send people. Um, but I, some I video that, that I made. Yeah. It's a video of me talking that I made. Explain. Yeah. And that's what I use as a third party tool so they can hear it from someone else. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll ask them what did you like about the video and when they tell me what they liked I dive into it and then I get them on the phone I asked them what they liked about the video too yeah what they liked the most about it mm -hmm. because what I've seen what I've noticed is people won't tell you what they don't like so when they tell you what they do like then you can be like great well are you open to getting on the phone with me and then I can kind of bridge it because I can't schedule out a lot of calls so doing that helps yeah that's 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 what i do i do that and and i i send them the video of me explaining the challenge group which is like two or three minutes and then i send them a video of me of my results of insanity i send them actually like the insanity infomercial like a clip from it so that they can see like i've already done this you know and here are my results and that's like two minutes too I send that in the same message and then I say, ask them what they like the most about it. And they're like, blah, 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 whatever. And then usually I'll be like, okay, can, do you want to hop on the phone for a few so I can explain the details about the group and pick the program that's best for you. Party tool. New coaches are asking what a third party tool is. A video. So like, you know, a video about like what a challenge uh, group is like, I've used them before in the past. So it's like me explaining like, hey guys, like this is more about my challenge group, blah, blah, blah. Or third party tools, just literally, you know. The video or yeah. some sort of website or, you know, a third party tool is like. I don't know. Like promo video, like, you know, yeah. them, you know, Shakeology promo video. So they know what it is. Yeah. Also, what I've started doing um, is because there's so many other things out there. Like, I've been getting a lot of people are like, how many macros do you use? How many programs are, pro fuck, I don't know. Um, so I started sharing with people about when I say it's a learning tool. I was like, you know, it's not like a lifestyle to go out to dinner and someone explain the special at a restaurant. You'd be like, oh, that sounds great. 
can you break that down? Like how many grams of protein is in that? How many calories? I'm on a diet. Um, how many calories? Like, no, but I said, what is a lifestyle is to get the special and be like, okay, that potato is really big. That looks like mm, about two carbs from what I've been learning. Okay. That piece of chicken, that looks to be about two proteins of the way it's filling my plate right now. And like, you literally start to learn. So I've really started to like zero in on that because there's so many other things out there where they're counting or they're paying attention to X, Y, and Z. And it's like, that's not a lifestyle change. Well, Steph, one thing you can add to that. I mean, this is something that I've picked up with competing is there are people personal messaging me for personal training sessions. And I'm like, Whoa, that's not what I do, but I do have something that comes with a full package. And I tell them, and when I talk about the 21 day fix, they're still apprehensive. But once I say, did you know that Autumn Calabrese is a former professional bikini competitor? They're like, what? She created this program and these containers. I'm like, yeah, she basically got tired of weighing her shit. Like she's over it. So literally I have, I threw myself into this big time when I had to start weighing stuff. I'm like, this is just like this. And when people figure it out, they're like, oh my gosh, that's really all you have to do, Kelly. And I'm like, yes, you guys, <laughs> like, Quit making a mountain out of a molehill. You don't have to go to a gym and track your freaking macros all the freaking time to get results. It's an amazing concept. So I agree with you 100% on that. They don't need to do that. But that's kind of what we're up against if you look at it from that aspect. Did she forgive us? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, we have to battle that. They don't get that. A lot of people that look at Instagram and they look at the fake girls all the time. They're like, oh, look at that. And you track my macros it's like this girl. And it's like, actually, 21 day fix. Got Can you right there. Go to hey, stop. Sorry, I canceled birthday dinner today. But um, so yeah, I just wanted to add that in there as to what I do when I have people approach me for that gym fix. I'm like, Guys, I'm only at the gym when I'm training, like, for a competition. My lifestyle for the last 13 years, almost 13 years, has been working out at home. So, I don't know what you've got in your head, but that's not what I do. So, <laughs> okay, I'm going to mute myself. have like any other questions about conversations i mean we gave two different very, you know well not very different just two different examples of how you know we're doing it does anybody have questions or a share about how they're doing it what's working what isn't are you struggling with something like you got 10 minutes to ask questions you guys so speak yeah. up we can do this again too and we can have more people um you know be the person that's the coaches so people can get more ideas and more styles and like that trick where I gave like two examples, that's a good trick, you guys, because it's kind of forcing them to pick one or the other. Like, it's not like, okay, does that sound good? No. You know, it's like, okay, so which one do you have more interest in? So that's been something I've done for like the last few months. So I'd like to know as like someone, I haven't like started really yet coaching, but so what is some stuff that completely hasn't worked during conversations? Um, vomiting information. So like not listening to the person. Um, for instance, if somebody says, yeah, I've been going to the gym for five days or for months and, you know, I've been putting in, you know, like an hour at the gym and you just totally bypass that. And you're like, okay, great. So um, what I do is home workouts and I'd love to share more about it with you. And like, just not even listening to them, you know, being so excited to share what's worked for you and not asking what is or is not working for them. So basically what doesn't work is not listening to the person on the phone. Not, you know, ask questions, get to know them. Um, you know, be authentic about it. Um, anybody else wanna jump in with what doesn't work? That's a great question. You know, typical like first- price. You don't, your price, you don't talk money. Cause that's always going to be everybody's first. Oh, I don't have the money. You need to talk about the value of what they're purchasing. It's kind of like Shakeology how Steph put it 
literally five minutes ago about the value of Shakeology. It's the same thing when it comes to the workouts. I mean, but it's, it's the workout. It's the group. It's the one-on-one -on -one support. It's the accountability. It's the motivation. Guys, we don't wake up with motivation. We have to look for it. We have to pull it from somewhere else. And when people get plugged into groups that are transferring motivation every minute, you know, I mean, just look at what we're doing in our diamond group, all the mojo that's being created there, how it's inspiring all of us. So Rose, yeah. the thing about that I notice, like I get a lot of objections about money um, and cost, or I'll be like, you know, five minutes into a conversation or even messaging and people are like, well, how much is it? And I'm like, well, you know, let's kind of talk more about your goals and really what you're looking for to see how I can best support you. And then we can get there because there's a handful of ways to get started. Like, so let's just get there and kind of put people back on track with the conversation because they're so hung up of what they expect it's going to cost. So the more that you dive in to their goals and their why and, and things like that, and then you kind of filter in the rest of the stuff so that, you know, your, your objection is probably going to be lessened because you've already dove into the conversation. Um, but a lot of the times I'll be on the phone and people, well, how much is it? <laughs> what are you doing today? <laughs> how are you? I think if you notice, like myself and Stephanie, I, they, we, we go through things differently, but we both show the value of what you're getting. Like you're getting all of these things. And then at the end, they're like, oh my God, I thought it was going to be so much more. It's only one. Like it really, you know, it's really how you set them up. Now, are there still going to be people that are like, I don't want to do the 199? Of course. You know, I don't, not everybody says yes to me. You know, there's people that are like, oh, I have to save up the money or oh this or oh that or whatever. I don't close everyone. But when you sell the value, when you show them the value before you get to that, a lot of times they're really, they really are expecting you to say it costs more. Yeah, and I agree with like what everyone's saying. Like if somebody is like upfront, well, just how much is it? Like if they're not willing to let you ask questions, again, get to know them better. They're probably not gonna really invest in anything you have to say you know if you answer that like oh it's 199 okay so what kind of goals are you working on Pfft, they're like out the door before you can even ask them a question like because they heard a price tag before they heard the value so I'm always like it depends on how you want to get started and if they keep asking I'm like well you know it depends on what program is gonna be the best fit so and I'll just you know keep asking um, if they keep pressuring me, I'm going to be like, honestly, the breakdown comes down to like two to $3 a week. Is that something that is affordable to you at this time? Like, oh, okay, well, that's super cheap. Great. Now we can talk. <laughs> like, but I, I won't necessarily give them like the full price. If somebody's asking me on Facebook, I will say um, it ranges from $60 to $199, depending on how you want to get started and whether you want one program or a full year all access. Cause a lot of times they're like, well, I don't want to waste your time. So how much are we talking? And so that's my answer. And you know, sometimes we continue, sometimes they disappear for a month and come back and you know, it is what it is. I literally had someone actually today tell me that, um, you know, Shakeology is so expensive and you know, I, I really cut back on stuff and I just couldn't afford it. And this is why I can't become a coach and she is going to become a coach under someone else, but whatever. Um, so I was like, well, I mean, it depends how you look at it. There's a lot of people wasting a lot of money on a lot of stuff. You know, there's a lot of people spending money on monthly gym memberships and they don't even use it yet. They don't seem to have an issue with that. Uh, there's a lot of people going out to eat and that's really expensive. You know, it depends. Is $4 a day worth it for you to get to your goals for a lot of people, for me included, that's worth it. So, you know, I guess it kind of depends on what you think is expensive and what you think is worth it. And to me and a lot of people that I share this with, it's worth it to them. Crystal has her hand up. I don't know if that's on purpose. Yeah. I, yeah. Can I share something really quick? Sure. I just kind of need advice because I have this girl that keeps coming to me and she has the coach already, but she's reached out to me like four times in the last like three months. And she reached out to me today and she's like, and I said, well, I, I, I am aware you have a coach. And then I just, um, anyhow, she wanted to call me. I was like, that's fine. 
But then she texted me and said, but I need you to write me out a meal plan. And I was like, I don't do meal plans. I was like, I follow a meal plan, but I don't write meal plans. So anyhow, she never did call me, but I don't know like what to, how to respond to her. <clears throat> I would just tell her that I don't work with people in order not to step on other coaches toes. I don't work with people that right. are already working with a coach and I would leave it at that. And if she reached out to me again, I would say, I already went over this. I don't work with people who are already working with the coach. So. Yeah. Cause I kind of, I kind of made that clear to her a couple of months ago. Like, you know, you have a coach and she just was just, you're pretty. Stop. She was just blurting out a lot of stuff today. Like she's doing nothing for her. And I said, well, that's something you have to get back with, with your coach, you know? And yeah. I don't know, but I wasn't rude or anything. I wasn't like, Oh sure. I'll be your coach. You know, nothing like that. Just pretty much was short and sweet about it. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like you did the right thing, girl. Okay, it's 8.58. Does anybody else have a question or a share really quick? We have two minutes. Say it again. You're pretty. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Marissa, I have a quick question. Sure. Um, so in regards to um, somebody who has a coach who's in it, who's not doing anything or running any any challenges or not working with them? Um, like I have had some customers who have canceled their Shakeology, um, but they, you know, they still had that relationship, I guess, with the coach. Um, That's a good question. So do you, you're asking if you support them or? Right. Or do you, I mean, so they're no longer, they're like, oh, I don't even talk to this person anymore. They don't even do anything with their business. Okay. I don't even buy Shakeology and so I really want to do something. I always say if someone is like interested in joining a group of mine or whatever, I'll always say, um, yeah, my groups are for people who aren't working with a coach or whose coach isn't active anymore. So is your coach active anymore? And if they're like, Oh no, they're not running groups. I'm like, okay, well then I, you know, I recommend that you reach back out to them and just see if they're running any groups. And if they're not, then, you know, I'm happy to have you in my group, but then you're going to have to change coaches. And a lot of times they'll reach out and like their coach isn't running a group. And a lot of times the coach is like, whatever, they don't even care because they're not mm -hmm. even really doing it. You know, I mean, if people are not doing their business and they still want to keep that customer, then they're really only doing it for the money because they're not really giving them any value. They're just, you know, but you have to be really careful because now there's, you know, Stories that I'm hearing of top coaches out there who, you know, have, they're recruiting people that are customers of other coaches and they're just taking them and signing them up. It doesn't even matter. So I'm just really, I just do what I feel is out of integrity to myself. Um, I actually stole someone once, you know, way back when I first started and I learned my lesson. Like she was a customer of another coach and then she's like, oh, I really want to be with you. And I, I took her and I should have said no. I should, and I felt bad about it and I didn't, I really didn't like, and I learned that lesson really early on. And then I had to deal with this, the coach that I took her from for a long time. And I remember just not even wanting to look her in the eye because I knew it wasn't the right thing to do, you know, and yeah. I did it because of scarcity. So if they have a coach that's not supporting them and not hosting groups or whatever, then fine. But and they weren't even buying Shakeology from them. Like they had canceled their, their, their Shakeology a long time ago. So, I mean, other than just. Well, I have people that cancel their Shakeology and they're still, you know, I would hope that if they wanted to get started again with something, they'd reach back out. But I also don't have a great follow-up system with like my previous challengers because I didn't have TMZ. So. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oops. I'm privately messaging Stephanie only. I gotta get, I gotta, gotta hop off here, but I would be curious to know which one, Raina. Yeah, it was, was Tanya, um, the one that does size and all, Tanya, she's an instructor. Oh, Tanya the Machine Baron? Yeah. Um, I, she was in my groups for a couple of times. I'm gonna stop recording. 